Well, hey there. Welcome to RA Raw. My name is Lori McLean. I was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis at the age of two. For those of you that haven't been here before, my channel focuses on inspiring others with rheumatoid arthritis and educating those with the disease or those who maybe don't know anything about the disease, but have a loved one or a friend, somebody they care about with it. So this is one of those episodes where we are going to get educated big time. The topic today is gut health and we are discussing it with Daron Reuven of Gutley. Haven't heard of Gutley before? Don't, don't worry, neither had I. They have a liquid probiotic that is amazing. Now, you know, hopefully, that I don't talk about products a whole lot on this channel unless I believe in them. That's what I did with the Skechers shoes and now with this, the Gutley Liquid Probiotic. Daron Reuven has graciously provided a 10% off discount code to RA Raw viewers. Right there, RA Raw 10 is what you enter at checkout to get your probiotics. So this is tasteless, yay. You know, some of those probiotics, they can taste a little, little funky, right? Well, this one, nothing. It's like taking water, it really is. It's plant-based, yay, and it doesn't need to be refrigerated. So when you go traveling, this bad boy, it can come right along with you and you don't have to worry about missing your daily dose of probiotics. Why are probiotics and healthy guts really, really important to those of us with autoimmune disease? Daron Reuven is going to fill us in. Take a look. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on. Um, it's a pleasure. Um, it's my pleasure. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm really excited for us to talk about, you know, all things gut health and really just to see where the conversation leads. But absolutely, um, you know, we got started in this, uh, you know, by now ar around five years ago, actually, yeah. after uh, my mom passed away from cancer. And uh, my background is in actually computer science. So I studied okay. computer science at Berkeley and uh, she passed away around that time. So I was looking, OK, there must be a way that we can, you know, perhaps intercept disease before it gets really severe. Mm -hmm. So I started doing a lot of research and I eventually came across the gut microbiome. So yeah. all the good and bad bacteria in the gut and, you know, kind of pulling on one string, it led to another. And, you know, we basically uncovered that the gut is related to all different kinds of diseases at all mm -hmm. stages of, of their progression. Yeah. And yeah. That's really where we're looking at, and we're trying. So we started a company called Gutley, mm -hmm. and Gutley's mission really is to really unite all these different disease groups together, and to better understand disease at a fundamental level. So hopefully, yeah. we can you know help people of the next generation and even today improve their diet using all natural foods and probiotics. One of the things I guess that we need to discuss is how patients with rheumatoid arthritis come into play with your product. Now you contacted me because you had seen something really interesting in your, in your findings. So if you could just go into that a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so rheumatoid arthritis, similar to a lot of other autoimmune conditions has a big link with the gut. Mm -hmm. So things like dysbiosis, So mm -hmm. that talks about, you know, the balance of the good and bad bacteria that live in the gut and their effect on the immune system. Yeah. So that's really where, you know, one of those small biomarkers we look at. But, you know, it's really all about restoring balance to the gut. And what's what's really interesting is that, you know, the gut and your body are actually communicating in this feedback loop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so if you have a condition or a disease um you know that's affecting the kinds of bacteria that you have but then you know it's kind of a vicious cycle then your bacteria will then re-influence your body and kind of possibly exacerbate those symptoms absolutely Absolutely. You know, a few years ago, I think it was about four or five years ago, the Mayo Clinic started to discover the connection between autoimmune diseases and, and the gut. And since then, 
and even, I mean, I'm sure it was noticed before them, but the Mayo Clinic really kind of put that out there and, and discussed it with people. But I don't know how many RA warriors out there realize how important gut health is to their overall feeling. So with your probiotic, if a warrior were to start on your probiotic, what are some of the things that they would notice in terms of overall feeling? Right. So, yeah. you know, we can, of course, you know, everyone's body is different. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? And so that's one of the big reasons we, we like to combine the probiotic typically with the gut health test. To find out what specifically is going on in your unique gut. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of the probiotic, it does vary for every single person, but in particular with autoimmune conditions, one of the big things is that gut lining. So the probiotic has these beneficial plant and soil-based bacteria, mm-hmm. and they also have all the enzymes that those bacteria produce. Ah, oh, okay. And so those enzymes are really great at repairing the gut lining, and as a result of that, Eventually, over time, that leads to reduced inflammation and, you know, excitation of, of that immune response. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that I am sure some of our viewers have heard of is leaky gut. Yes. And so is that somewhat of what you're talking about with? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. If yeah. You could, can you explain leaky gut? Is that? Absolutely. Yeah. For us? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. So you have these cells uh, lining your gut. They're called your epithelial cells. Yes. And it's really just pretty much a single layer. Now, Mm -hmm. these cells are held together by these things called tight junction proteins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, on top of the tight junction proteins holding together the epithelial cells, you have this mucous membrane that's produced. Ah. Now, what's really interesting is that your cells, your epithelial cells, need food just like the rest of your body, mm-hmm. you know, just like every other cell. Mm-hmm. But their food is actually the byproduct of those naturally occurring bacteria in your gut. Now, your gut produces these things called short chain fatty acids. Okay. Now, the short chain fatty acids are about 90% or so of the food of these epithelial cells. Now, they also have a complex kind of relationship with kind of affecting the level of mucus produced and various things like that. But part of the reason the probiotic is so beneficial is because, number one, the plant and soil-based bacteria are the, one of the main producers of these short-chain fatty acids. Oh. And as a result as well, the enzymes that they produce not only are food for that lining, but they also have an effect on the bad kinds of bacteria. Mm. Kind of prompting them to decrease in numbers. So it kind of has like that twofold effect. Well, that is really cool. So in essence, by taking a probiotic, we can repair our leaky gut possibly. Yes. It, it will definitely help. Okay. Um, okay. You know, as with all things with health, you know, it's yeah. really about a holistic, Absolutely. you know, approach to it. So the probiotic will definitely help, mm-hmm. but, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it really, it sounds, you know, trite or cliche, but, you know, it's really about, you know, the emotional aspect as well. It's about the foods that you eat, you know, your, your psychology, you know, and that really does play a big integrated role in, you know, how you're responding to the condition. So we really truly are what we eat. <laughs> we are what we eat. We're what we yep. think, uh, yep. Yep. you know, all of it together. But I'm so excited to be trying your probiotic. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Yes, yes. <laughs> I put it in my I put it in my tea this morning. I let it cool down just a little bit so it wasn't piping hot. Put right. some put some of your gutly probiotic in there and yeah, I I mean, Jerome, it has no taste. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, that's one of the biggest benefits we think. You know, you can yeah. uh, you know, if it tastes kind of gross, you don't really want to add it with anything. I personally <laughs> just think it's straight, but uh, I did yesterday. I did do it just straight yesterday yeah. just to see, right, what the consistency was. It's awesome. I love it. And, you know, that's, you know, related to that. It's, you know, this natural approach is really a big part of our mission as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really one of the main reasons why we didn't get pill forms of the probiotic. Mm -hmm. Um, So a lot of the pill forms of probiotics have these binding agents in them. They have certain preservative agents. So 
that really is an unnatural kind of thing. So Absolutely. the probiotic is actually grown on a farm. Yeah. So we grow it on a farm. We use plant and soil um, naturally occurring on the farm. It's USDA certified organic. And it's kind of, it's harvested year round in these year round fermentation machines. So, you know, it's just collected in batches as we go along throughout the year as more grasses are harvested. So that's what sets your probiotic apart from the other ones that I've seen anyways, is that it's plant-based. Right. Plant, plant, soil base. And it's, um, it's a liquid. So if some people have problems with pills, that's just a nice benefit but the really big part like you're saying is the natural you know farm grown planted mm -hmm. soil based um you know it's really natural organic stuff everybody has different bacteria that's living in their digestive system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now part of this is based on your family so your genetics now, it's interesting, when you're born, you actually get your first dose of these bacteria from your mom. Mm. So before, they used to think that you were, it was a sterile birth. So there was no bacteria. The baby was somehow, you know, uh, coated, no bacteria in there. Um, but that was actually the opposite. So you're coated in bacteria from your mom. And there's actually a big difference even between C-section births and non-C-section births in terms of the rate of allergies, autoimmune conditions. <sighs> Um, all kinds of stuff. So that's, it starts from the time you're a baby and then it changes all throughout your life. Um, so a big core of what bacteria you have is partly genetics, but an even bigger part is your diet and lifestyle. So, and you know, lifestyle includes things like stress, emotions and diet, of course. So the reason is, is because your bacteria are alive. So they're living creatures. You can kind of think of your gut like a rainforest. So in a healthy rainforest, you have thousands and thousands of different kinds of species, and they're good because each one is just doing its best to survive, and they keep the other uh, you know, kinds of animals in check, right? And the same is true with the gut. So if you have imbalance in the gut, it could be that there isn't enough checks and balances between other kinds of bacteria. But the saying you are what you eat is really, you know, takes on a whole new meaning here because depending on what you feed, you're not just feeding you, you're feeding your bacteria in your gut. So for instance, we see this all the time. So people come and test with us and they have an overgrowth of the protein bacteria or a set of bacteria associated with protein. Now, that's because they're feeding their gut ecosystem, their gut flora, all these high protein foods. And these bacteria don't care about anything. They're just like, oh, food, food. But, you know, that imbalance causes all kinds of issues. And, you know, that's just one example. Very interesting. So that was my discussion with Daron. Isn't he awesome? That guy knows so much about gut health. I can't wait to pick his brain some more throughout the month. And I really do hope that you'll come back and watch more of our videos. Now, don't forget, go over to gutly.co and get your probiotic right now. And also, get that gut health test done. It's really important. And you'll probably find out some things that you didn't know about your gut. And you also get a customized plan on what foods you should and shouldn't eat to better your gut health. That's it the first video for this month of gut health. Everybody take care and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.